Want to make massive cash flow every single month that outperforms real estate, normal stock buying, and even cryptocurrencies? Just buy my course for $19.99. Just kidding. Stay tuned and watch this video. What's up, fruitful investors? Hope you're having a great day. So if you know me and you know my story, I started off as a real estate guy. I was all in. I was just obsessed with real estate. I didn't want to hear nothing about stocks, nothing about crypto. And for 12 years, I put my nose to the ground and we made millions and millions of dollars. I still have a fantastic real estate business that's just kicking ass in the background, but I'm also into stocks. So I had a lot of friends tell me, you got to learn this thing, stock options, Matt. You got to learn it. And finally, I gave in and I learned it. And thank God I did because it's a great skill. Probably one of the best skills I think you could learn to have financial knowledge of how the world works and how markets work. And today I'm going to share with you guys uh, why my bull put strategy is what I think the number one strategy. And I'm going to brag about it throughout this video. So first, before we start, what's a put and what's a put spread? What's the difference? So a put is, let's say um, we're going to talk about SPY because that's what I invest in really only. So the S&P 500, the SPY ETF, let's say that's at 457, which I think today it's at 457. Um, if I'm going to buy a put, I'm going to sell an option contract, let's say at 440. So should SPY fall down to 430, I'm going to buy whoever shares I, I did that agreement with, let's say Steve, some guy named Steve who lives in New York City. Steve, if SPY falls all the way down to 440 and something goes crazy in the market, I will buy 100 or 200 or more of your shares, I promise. But in exchange for that contract we're going to sign, you're going to pay me a fee. So if you're, if you're lost right now, I'm going to show you on my phone how this works. But that, that's essentially a put contract. I'm promising someone that I'm going to buy their share should the market take a shit. I'm going to buy them at that price. Even if it falls even more. Let's say if SPY falls down to 420, then to 410, then to 400. Too bad. I have to buy Steve shares at 440. That's what I promised him. And that's what he paid me for. The put spread uh, strategy is a little different, a little more risky in a sense because the difference between a put and a put spread is a put, you want to own the shares. You actually, you actually want to own them. The put spread, you don't want to own them. You're just playing the cash flow game. So if the market does fall past the price we agreed upon, dude, I lose all my money. I don't even get the benefit of holding the shares, which is the benefit of a put strategy. Because even if the market continues to fall and fall and fall, well, at least you own the shares. You can just wait six months, a year. I'm sure the market will be at a new all-time high and you'll be positive again. With the put spread strategy, um, if the market falls below the price we agreed on, I lose all my money, but I can make a lot more money as well. Okay, so if you're lost right now, which you probably are, if you don't know how the put spread uh, strategy works, no problem. Let's dive into my phone and you will see exactly how that works. All right, so now we're into the SPY ETF on my phone here. Currently trading, as you can see, at 457, 85, 83, 80, keeps bouncing around, that's what it does. So you see here on the top where it says options, by the way, I'm using uh, interactive brokers. That's that's the broker I use for my stocks, but there's a bunch out there, but they're all the same. This strategy works for pretty much all, all the platforms. So you can see I, I clicked into the option side. Let's go back for a second. This is where you. This is where most people play. See the sell on the bottom left and the buy bottom right? That's where most people do. They just buy and sell shares. That's boring. We're gonna go to the options because I think it's even safer and a way better strategy. So we can see that we can go out to the contract, see on the top bar here how I'm moving it, December 10th, 13th, 15th. The day of shooting this video is November or December 6th. So I like to go uh, 30, 45, 60 days out into the future. That's what I like because I don't like playing or day trading or very short contracts because the market can move a lot in short periods of time. If something takes a shit, I have time to bounce and get out or do something else and fix the trade or end it early. I have time on my side to figure things out. That's why I like to go pretty far in the future. A lot of people you'll see do option strategies for like two days, a week at a time. I don't like that, it's too risky and I'm a big baby. I like to take it slow. So we're gonna go out to January 21st, which at the, that's about 45 days or so. So that's kind of the timeline that I play in uh, for contracts that far out. So you can see again on the top left here, SPY is currently at 457. So, so let me show you a put strategy and how that works. So SPY is currently at 457. Let's say I'm gonna sell a put, which means I'm, pr I'm promising to buy. It's confusing, it makes no sense. I don't know why they do this, but selling a put actually means buying shares. It's confusing, but you'll learn it eventually. So let's say I wanna sell a put at 420, which means, let's say Steve in New York City, right? I'm here in Canada. 
Steve, if the sh if Spy takes a shit and fall all the way down to 420, I will buy your shares. But how much are you gonna pay me? Let's find out. So if I click sell, because I'm selling a put, see on, so we got puts on the right and calls on the left. I don't even touch calls. Woof, that's for more videos in the future. I really only play with this one strategy on the put side. Again, I like things boring and easy. So I'm selling a put. So I'm gonna click sell, bottom left here. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna do six option contracts, which is actually 600. For every one option contract, it's 100 shares. Don't mix that up, because that could be a big mistake. So six actually means 600. So if the market does fall to 420, I gotta put up a lot of money to buy 600 SPY ETF shares. This is where people don't understand how this works and they literally go bankrupt because if the market takes a shit, especially if they're doing uh, more risky stocks, Tesla, uh, whatever, tech stocks really, and something really happens really quick, meme stocks specifically, and you did a hundred of these puts, oh my God, I don't even wanna think about that situation. But a lot of people have done some terrible things. If you read on Reddit, it's not cool, man. People literally, I'm not even gonna say it, but their lives are over, we'll put it that way. Okay, so <laughs> how much is he gonna pay me? So I have to put up, actually let's do five of these because I know I'm trying to make a, a apples and apples scenario. You'll see in a sec. Let's say five, 500 shares, okay? So that means I gotta put up $65,000. See here on the bottom here? I gotta put up $65,000 but he's gonna pay me $3,000. Now, if SPY doesn't fall down to 420, does Steve get his three grand back? No, he doesn't. I keep that three grand, thank you, Steve. If SPY falls below and I do have to buy his shares, I still keep Steve's 3,000 bucks. He's paying me this 3,000 bucks to cover his ass. Now, you're probably thinking, why would someone pay for these contracts on the other end? Why would they pay me? Think about this scenario. Let's say Steve is investing his last amount of money, his last 60 grand or whatever. His wife says, Steve, you better not lose our goddamn money. This is our life saving, don't lose it. So what does Steve do? He does these to protect his ass. Okay, Martha, should the market fall to 420, don't worry, I might lose a little bit of money, but this other guy in Canada, he's gonna buy all my shares at 420, I'll get out pretty much unscathed. So that, 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 that's the, uh, that's the calmness or whatever I'm giving him, the peace of mind I'm giving him. So that's, so that's why Steve would do what he's doing and this is why I'll do what I'm doing because I want the 3,000 bucks, thank you. So don't forget that. The put strategy, 60, I have to put up 65 grand to make three grand in two months. Let me bust out my calculator here and see what that return would be. 3,000 divide 65,000 bucks uh, times 100 to make that back into a percentage. That's 4% cash on cash return, um, but that's two months. So it's actually 2% on monthly cash on cash return. Dude, that, that's pretty crazy. That's, that's a good return. That's better than real estate in most cases. Uh, maybe not quite better than crypto, but some of them, yeah, for sure. It's, it's a good amount of money, that's a good return. Let's see what that would be per year. That's 2% per year, easy math, 24% uh, return a year. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see my strategy and why I like the put spreads better. So, to get that 3,000 bucks cash flow, I had to put up 65 grand and I have to do it at 420. But 420 is a little too risky for me because SPY is at 457. You know, let's see how far that is out the money. 420 divided by 457 times 100 minus 100. Okay, so that's 8% out the money. So the market has 8% to fall before I'm in trouble and I gotta buy Steve shares. That's too close. 8% drops happen all, all the time. I don't like that. I'm more of a baby. This is why I do the put spreads. Check this out. If I go down to 390, now I'll get my guy to pull up a, a graph here of, of SPY. You can see 420 was kind of close to the money, a little bit, but 390? Dude, SPY has to fall a lot before I even get into trouble. Let's see how far out the money that is. 390 divide the current price of 457 times 100 minus 100. That's 15% out the money. SPY has to fall 15% before I get in trouble with my strategy. How many times has that happened in the whole lifespan of the S&P 500? Well, we can look back on a graph here, about four or five times max, where SPY fell 15% or more in a 60 day period, okay? SPY has been around since 93, and this has only happened about four or five, maybe less times. This is why I like this strategy. It's like a 99% win rate, so check this out. So if I'm at 390, so instead of selling a put, I also have to buy a put, so check this out. So I have to sell the 390, just like I would sell the 420, 
but I don't want to actually own the shares. I don't want to put up that much money. And if I do have to buy them, I got to put up hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy these shares. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do my own insurance policy and buy the 385. See that? I'm going to buy the 385. So if SPY falls down to 390, that sucks. And it keeps falling to 385, 384, 380. I'm automatically topped out at 385. I, 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 I cut out and I piece out at 385. This is why you sell and you buy at the same time. It's protection on my end that if SPY continues to fall, um, I'm just, I'm going to lose the money I put up, unfortunately, but I'm not going to lose, in this case, potentially you're, you're going to see millions of dollars and go bankrupt. So this is why I like this. So check this out. So I'm going to go to order. All right. And I'm going to do a hundred contracts and you'll see why. Cause it, instead of doing six, cause I'm, I'm, I'm not buying the shares. I'm automatically buying it, which means I only have to put up the difference of the money. So it's a $5 spread, right? I bought the 390, I sold, or I sold the 390, bought the 385, that's $5 wide, times 100, that's 500 bucks, times 100, you're gonna see. So, easy math here. I gotta put up 63K, see that right there? So almost the same as the other strategy, right? I put up 65K in the other strategy to make 3,000, but I have to own those shares should shit hit the fan. I don't wanna own them. I own enough of those, I don't wanna buy more. So I have to put up $64,000, $63,934, and Steve's gonna pay me $2,700. So almost the same, that's $3,000. So it's almost the same return. However, the biggest benefit is I'm way farther out the money. In the other strategy, I was only 8% out the money, kinda close. This one, I'm 15% out. The market has to fall 15% before I get in trouble. Now let's say the market does fall you know, 7%, 8% and people are getting freaked out. You don't have to stay in that trade. I'm not locked in. I can leave that trade at any time. I, would ju I just have to pay money to get out of it. I have to buy it back. That's the only thing. So that's, that's the way you can kind of mitigate things. The worst thing you can do if the market is falling and you own a bunch of these uh, put credit spreads is stay in the trade. Unless you're like really, really, really far out and you're like, there's no way it's going down this far. Cause we have market scares all the time. And you're like, there's no way it's going down that far. And you're confident, hey man, stay. <laughs> but what I do is when the market starts to get really weird and I, there's bad news coming out, maybe it's a new coronavirus or something like that and the, the market's freaking out and the market drops 3%, 4%, I'll probably buy my contract out then. Yeah, I'll pay it a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks. I'll lose 2000 bucks maybe. If I get all my money back, that's 65 grand, I get it back. And then I'll do it again because <laughs> the market dropped. So I'll do another 15% out from there. Now the other that happening, dude, it's never gonna happen pretty much. So you can see how this works and you can protect yourself even with these risky strategies is don't wait for it to get close to your price. That's stupid. You're gonna lose almost all your money. Go far out the money. When you see stuff happening in the market that's really weird, get out as soon as you can. If, it, if the market drops three, four, 5%, buy that contract out, you'll lose money, but then you do it again. So you get paid again. It kind of, it, it's a wash in a sense. Maybe you just didn't, didn't make any money that month but at least you didn't lose money either. And you don't own hundreds and hundreds of shares. So anyway, guys, if you have no idea what a put, uh, put credit spread is or puts are, you're probably confused as hell. Subscribe to this channel. I explain it more and more and more, but if you understand the basic knowledge of how options works, you probably figured it out. And this is why I like the put credit spread strategy and why I think it's the number one strategy for stocks and why I do it so much. If you like this video, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, so I'll see you in the next video.